Welcome back to Dalton Garage. Today, we're going to be taking some links out of a roller chain. Back, back, back from the dead. So there's a lot of YouTube videos on how to take links out of these roller chains. Um, but I haven't found any that touch base on the type of chain that I pulled off my go-kart. It's a little more difficult. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it. So this is our chain we're working with. And the first thing you gotta do to take any links out would be find the master link. And this will be your master link because it's got the clip on it. Now, that's gotta be the first thing to come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this clip. I recommend using flathead screwdriver. Some people like using needle nose pliers. Just be careful not to jab yourself because it is kind of a pain. You can tell it's open on this side, so that means we got to push it this way. So usually I kind of like using the flat side. It all depends on the type of chain, but and then just kind of push off at an angle. It's probably hard to see, but kind of get the idea, and it'll pop it loose like that. You pull it over and should slide right up off the top that's all it is we'll put this aside over here then this plate just lifts right up it's just a single plate on top here it's a little greasy and need, this chain needs clean so it's a little more difficult and that's all that is put that aside and then these two tabs, or well, pins, go straight down into the bottom of this. Push those down, pull it out of the bottom. That's all you got for the master link. And you can see, that's it, your chain's disconnected. Now, on most chains, and it's the way people always do these videos on, is... To get rid of a link, you have to grind off the rivet on the tops of these. Now, obviously, the master link is an outside link, so it's kind of like how this is. It's on the top, like these, not underneath. So, you're going to go back two links if you want to take out a little bit. So you can't just take out here. You need to go back to here. Because you need to be... Your outside links need to be the bottom ones. It can't be top ones or else you can't get the master link back in. So anyways, most people, the way they describe it, which it is true for most chains, is you just grind off the top of this rivet and then get... A screwdriver uh, something that will fit down in the hole and put it on top once once this is ground off whether you use a, a table grinder angle grinder whatever once you grind this piece off the top here what you'll do is you just put that up there get a hammer tap it out the bottom and your pin will fall right out the bottom and basically look Kind of like one of these these pieces here and that's all there is to it for those ones easy enough well with this chain it's a little different i noticed when i ground off one of these it ended up being flat which i don't really have a good The pin inside of it actually was all one piece. So basically like this top plate here, this bottom plate down here, and the rivet on both sides and underneath this was all one unit. The pin inside is 
one with these two plates. It wasn't like you can just grind the top off and then pop the pin out of the bottom. I literally had to grind off all the way down till I got so far down that I could grind it enough to where it would break it off like this. And then this piece came off of it. Most chains are not like that. So it was more of a pain. Instead of just working on the top, you had to grind off the, on the top here and on the bottom and then smack it down through with the hammer and chisel, whatever. So there's a lot more of a pain. But when you do that, make sure that like if you're grinding away at this one, and obviously you have to grind away at this top plate as well, that when you get down to here, get careful, because you don't want to start damaging like any of this hole here. Because then you're going to have problems when you go to put the master link together with it. So you can see how thin I went down here and tried not to hit that plate as much as possible. This one here, you can see I went all the way in half with it, but didn't really damage any of the links that I needed. So these, I don't even need at all, but that's just an example. So that's how you do that. Now to put everything back together, cause I got this, the size I need this, all you'll do is you'll put your pins there, slide them in the holes, easy enough, put your top plate back on, get your clip, and then place it on top. And just slide it over. That's it. It's on. It's complete. And that's really all you got to do. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. And I'll try to get in a little more detail on it. I know I already had it, everything ground off. So I didn't really get to show you the grinding portion of it. I just kind of explained it. So if you need anything, leave me a comment and I'll explain it. Uh, if you want a uh, walk around video on the go-kart that I pulled this off of, just uh, leave a comment requesting it. Um, all I'm going to say is it's got a 670cc V-twin on it, and it's really fun. So, like, subscribe, and I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.